All right, here we are at the Boathouse, uh, one of our favorite spots. We've been here many times, it's our go-to, but today we're here for brunch. So first time having brunch, so that's special for Saturday, Sunday. They have dueling pianos, so we're excited. They have the regular menu, but we're gonna stick to the brunch menu today since it's our first time. So when you come in and sit, there is the front room there where you can see the dueling pianos, which we thought that would be really loud. So I'm glad they put us in one of the back dining rooms. It is absolutely gorgeous in here as always you gotta love the white tablecloth it's just a beautiful right setting yeah we are we're right by the water which is great but i gotta tell you they brought out the usual absolutely amazing mind-blowing um little bread rolls that you get here but during brunch you can get them drizzled with a cinnamon sugar glaze i don't even understand how that's possible because they're already like a honey butter so this is exciting <laughs> as far as our drinks went we decided to go ahead and definitely get something off of the um, menu. I'm going with the Paramosa, which is the Koperberg hair cider with a white peach puree. And Manny is getting the Bloody Mary. All right, there is a size discrepancy. <laughs> so here's my beautiful Paramosa. Um, this is great because it's a pear cider Mosa. It actually is not champagne. And then I mean what? the hell yes by the way blue cheese stuffed olives all right now wait a minute i think this means i get to order what at least three more drinks <laughs> beautiful all right well let's give it a try look at that gigantic shrimp yeah, look at that all right so we dug into the bloody mary a little bit it's very good so it's got stoli vodka, a little bit of ancho reyes. So you taste it, you get the very tomatoey, Bloody Mary classic, but that ancho reyes kicks in a little bit of spice, which is good in this case. I like spicy Bloody Mary. That's probably the only drink I like with the spice. All right, I'm pretty heavily backlit here, so I apologize, but it's so beautiful. I mean, so I got the Paramosa, so it's Copaberg, which I'm sure I'm pronouncing wrong because it's from Sweden, this brewery, or this cider brewery. I, I had to look it up because I was hoping it was Canadian because we had the best ciders in Canada. I wish U.S. would jump in on that. But Step up the game. It's really good. I think it would be good just the cider. The peach, there's a white peach puree in here, which is definitely, you can taste, taste the peach. It's not um, overbearing, but it definitely sweetens it a little bit more than I think is necessary. But it's perfect for breakfast. And I think it's gonna go really well with these little buns I got over here. <laughs> Super good buns, regularly, always, always a hit. It says a cinnamon roll, but it's even better because it's like, you still get that little bit of the, I don't know how would you describe it, almost the yeast or the little, that's in a, in a roll. Like, no, like there's, there's like a little um, sharpness to it. You know what I mean? It's not just pure sweet, the way a cinnamon roll has like a cakiness to it almost. You know what I mean? Just super sweet all the way through. It still has like a really good um, dinner roll flavor inside, but it's just amazing. And then you add that little bit of their, their wonderful butter to it, which is like overkill. But I did it anyway. Because <laughs> I'm like, if I'm going to have one of these, I'm going to do it right. So, yeah. I mean, look at this thing. There you go. Look at that. And they're already like they already have like a honey butter glaze on them, and then they've drizzled a cinnamon sugar over top of that, which is not a ton though. It's not covered like a you know what I mean? like a cinnamon roll, it's like literally a literally drizzle like across. So I went with the Crab Cakes Benedict. It's a twin crab cakes with prosciutto ham, poached eggs, Old Bay hollandaise sauce, and grilled asparagus. 
Mandy's getting the steak and eggs, which is your New York strip steak, home fries, two eggs, any style, and he went with over easy on the eggs. I don't know if you know this or not, but the Boathouse parent company is actually a big steakhouse. They're actually known for their steak. I think if a lot of people think that the Boathouse is all about seafood, mm -hmm. I mean, their oysters are top notch and their raw bar is amazing, but um, really, actually, it's known for their steaks. So, seems appropriate to try that out. Happy bear. <laughs> Oh my God, that is one of the best steaks. That is an excellent, excellent piece of meat. It looks gorgeous. You know what I like also is, it's it's not too much, you know? It's not yeah. a giant amount of steak. Yeah, because like I mean, good... I, that would make me down for the day. Yeah. To me, that's I an evening thing, you know? Steak fritz, brunch, on top, frites. 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 Steak, steak frites. frites, lunch, <laughs> uh -huh. brunch. Um, it was really heavy, and that was yeah. like, uh, but that looks amazing. That looks amazing, especially when you get your egg going in you there. And let me tell you, a, a tiny incredible. little sliver, but those potatoes are awesome. I stole one. Wow, is that what New York strip always tastes like? Is it always that tender? No. No, I, mean, I don't know what they like did. that's almost like a filet. Like, that is yeah. so tender. It just melts on your it's tongue. very tender. I mean, it really, it's incredible. I always thought the only, like, I'm not a big meat eater, okay? I always thought the only way you could get beef or steak or whatever to be that tender and that um, without any, like, the fat. I don't like, I know, but you know what I mean? Like, the, I don't like that in my mouth. Um is to get a filet. And that is like amazing. I would absolutely order that. And I never in a million years would have ever ordered that had I not just tasted it. That is incredible. It is incredible. Wow. It is I, good. I literally just changed my whole knowledge of what a New York strip was. I, I, I must have never had a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I must have never had a good one. Egg. I want to taste the crab cake before okay, I bring the you. egg on it because I feel like that's going to definitely bring its own it's flavor. Enhance it. <laughs> now, I'm from Maryland, so if you know anything about Maryland, you know we're all about our blue crabs. <laughs> this is very good. It's yeah. so good. It's so fresh and full of real crab flavor. Sometimes you can get crab or crab cakes, and the crab itself has no flavor because of the type of, like, blue crab has a very good flavor to it. That's why people love it so much and work so hard to get it because they're not big crabs. But, like, you get into the bigger crabs, to me, they just don't have any flavor. Um, it's just kind of a texture of meat that picks up flavor that it gets either the butter or whatever you're doing with it. And this actually has really, really good flavor. It doesn't say Maryland blue crab, so usually they'll claim that if that's because it's a whole different like level of crab. But whatever it is, it's fantastic. They've done a perfect job preparing it. Like it's amazing. Look, I knew I was going to be impressed. It's the boathouse. I, I don't know how many times we've been here. It's a lot. We've never had the brunch. But I've this never had anything here that didn't just knock my socks off. So it is a little pricey. And I say that it's not in comparison to all the things that you can get here in Disney Springs or on vacation in Orlando. But um, you kind of have this... I know, I think people think, oh, the both house, it's fancy. It's not fancy. Everyone around us is wearing t-shirts and jeans, shorts, it's super casual, families are here. But the quality of the food that you get for those dollars is above and beyond so many other places that you could go here in Disney Springs even. 
I really would love to compare brunches around. So far, our favorites, definitely the Boathouse, Wine Bar George, and believe it or not, City Works. City Works does a killer brunch. <laughs> Wouldn't be boathouse without oysters, so got a half a dozen oysters. Got some lucky ducks here. Got some great whites there. They're both from Massachusetts. These are from uh, Cape Cod, um, and these are oh Duxbury, Ma yeah. Duxbury. Yeah, because it's lucky ducks. Yeah, lucky D U X. Duxbury, Duxbury Massachusetts, and then uh, Cape Cod. So and, and she says that they grow the Duxbury ones. Yeah, these. The Lucky Ducks are exclusive to Boathouse. Uh, I've had them many times. They're very, very good. So I get a little cocktail sauce, horseradish, and then this... Uh, I always forget what this sauce is called, but it's like a... It's not like a vinaigrette, but it's a Is it a like a briny? It's a briny. I have no idea. Delish? Mm. Very, very much so. When Manny would come in town before we started insisting that we get to travel with him, he would just come. He'd come here or polite pig. Yep. He'd come here and get maybe even both. Get some oysters. Yep. Get a cocktail, the oysters, beef carpaccio, and a cocktail. Yep. And you're good to go. Always worth the trip. Indeed. finish an amazing brunch Super at the Boat good House. Brunch. Couple tips. First off, um, if you can't get a reservation on the My Disney Experience app, don't worry. Go to Open Table. That is how I got the reservation and they had plenty available. For whatever reason, My Disney Experience had it as full and we were not able to get any reservations at this time. I was able to get a couple because I wasn't sure. You know, I got one on Saturday and I got one on Sunday. I canceled the one on Saturday. Um, all through open table so check there for dinner brunch anywhere any of the restaurants that you want to go to in Disney Springs if you can't get a reservation on the my Disney experience don't give up there check their website the actual restaurants website or try open table and see if you can get one because that's how we were able to get in yep. the second thing is is they do take annual pass holder discounts so don't forget to do that because it, it really does add up yeah it helps it helps yeah what were your thoughts oh Never disappointing at the Boathouse. We love it. It's one of our favorite go-tos. Yeah. Just uh, surprised over and over again. You know, I, I go there typically and I get my go-tos that I always like. But it's nice to change it up. We had brunch this time. Super good steak. Amazing service, as that always. Steak. The service was, as always. There is a culture notch. of the front of the house at the Boathouse is top notch. I mean, there is definitely a culture of celebrating true good service. Sometimes you'll go someplace and you'll kind of feel like you're kind of like a pain in the butt to everybody. You okay? Yeah. Okay. You'll feel like you're kind of like, you know what I mean? That weird feeling that you get here. It's like from the moment you walk in the door from the hostess stand to the bussers and everyone, you know, working the floor, the supervisors, the bar, yeah. um, the service staff, of course, they truly go out of their way to make sure that you're having a top-notch experience and we have never and I mean we come here a good amount yeah. we have never had anything but a top-notch experience while dining here yeah and it's always been that way like mm -hmm. I remember the very very first time we came oh it was incredible they had you know gluten they had an allergy person gluten help and us dairy out, coming out for our son yep 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 um they were just top-notch absolutely top -notch. so so but the food the steak oh was amazing i, can't I believe think that i win thing. with that steak and eggs that i think was you did amazing. win mostly i mean that it was a very basic dish done absolutely phenomenally Incredible. yeah so sometimes that's what wins the day and in this case mine was absolutely wonderful i mean for real it yeah, was amazing was good. but yours just the beauty of those flavors the way it was cooked 
the preparation, those potatoes. Yeah. It was absolutely amazing. In fact, if we came here again, I would get what you got, even though mine Which, was amazing. You would never get steak and eggs. I've never in my life ordered steak and eggs. It would never occur to me. And I never would get a New York strip. Yeah. I just thought New York strips were like tish. dry and tish. Tish, tish. I don't know what that means. Then but you like filet. You get filet I, instead of the New York strip. Look, I just don't like steak. I mean, that sounds crazy, but, but that good, was, it was heavenly. And it wasn't too much, like I said. Mm, it was incredible. Like the drinks bit. were great. Your, yeah. your little guy did Bloody you Mary well? was... Not so just, little. Yeah. No, the Bloody Mary was really good. Mm -hmm. Classic Bloody Mary flavors. And I did have that ancho reyes as well as the Stoli vodka, so... My little peach thing was good. A little sweet for me, so I had to go with a dirty martini. <laughs> you had to go with your favorite. Well, Darn, I had to get, and by the way, the Admiral's Bar here just knocks it out of the park every time with yeah. a dirty martini. So if you're looking for that, head on over there. You can just walk right in. There's a giant line outside right now. There is no one sitting at the Admiral's Bar. You can yeah. walk in and see at the Admiral's Bar and order the full menu. That's the biggest tip, I think, for Boathouse. It's house. huge, yeah. If you, there's like two of you, a couple probably. Yeah, it's perfect three for a couple. Tops. But yeah. yeah, two people, perfect. Go perfect. to the Admiral, Admiral's Bar or even the Outdoor Bar if the weather's good. Yeah, um, I've never sat at the Outdoor I've Bar. I've been to the Outdoor Bar. That's where I, I would really go want to do when that. I would come out here. Maybe we'll do that next. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, so definitely come out to the Boathouse. Try out their brunch. I know we all love it for dinner. We all love everything about it. That brunch reservation is hard to come by, but go on to Open Table, snag one for yourself. And by the way, to Scott from Coaster Force, love talking with you. We're really excited to head back to our home country of New Mexico <laughs> <laughs> and try out that Cliffs Coaster. Yeah, the Rattler. The New Mexico Rattler. It's on the list. Don't worry. We're yep. going to get to it. We'll get there. Anyway, have a great day. If you liked everything, please take a chance to like it, subscribe, do all the things, right? Um, we're just out here trying to show you our experiences while we're traveling around, taking it all Checking in. Checking things out. Yeah. Have a good one. Bye.